Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following program contains images and voices of people who've died. On Australia's calendar, there are quite a few special dates, like New Year's Day, the Queen's birthday, Anzac Day, and my birthday. Just jokes. But there's one special date that's been causing a lot of controversy, and that's the 26th of January. It was on that day back in 1788 that the first fleet led by Captain Arthur Phillip arrived in Sydney Cove. Philip raised a British flag and took possession of the land for England, even though it already belonged to hundreds of different groups of Aboriginal people. Over the years, January 26th became a day for celebrating New South Wales, and it was often called Foundation Day, First Landing Day, or later Anniversary Day. It wasn't actually until hundreds of years later, in 1935, that all states and territories started calling the date Australia Day. Decades later, in 1988, Australia marked 200 years since the arrival of the First Fleet on January 26th, with massive events in all major cities. But it still didn't become an official national public holiday in the way it is today until 1994. But let's stop there and go back to look at this period in Australia's history from a different perspective. For Aboriginal people, January 26, 1788, was the date when the land they'd been living on for at least 50,000 years was claimed by someone else, and it started hundreds of years of mistreatment and discrimination. On the 26th of January 1938, many Indigenous leaders held what they called a day of mourning to protest against hundreds of years of terrible treatment by white Australians and their land being taken away from them. They also wanted the same rights as other Australian citizens. Then on January 26th, 1988, there were big protests held at the first lead anniversary event in Sydney. Well, I'm very proud to be Aboriginal and I'm glad I could take part in the march and be here today. 200 years from today, um, white man came and started to destroy the people of this land. Around then, some Indigenous Australians started calling Australia Day Invasion Day. And protests like this continued to happen each year on January 26th, all the way up to this year. Because of this, there's been a lot of discussion lately about moving Australia Day celebrations to a different date. Officially, that would need the OK from the federal and state governments but some local councils have been making their own moves. All those in favour? Two Melbourne councils have already voted to stop calling January 26th Australia Day, and it looks like an Adelaide council could hold a vote on it soon. But the idea of changing Australia Day has made some people angry. Some say the tradition's really important. Others reckon January 26th isn't actually about the First Fleet anymore, but coming together to celebrate our country as it is now. Happy Australia Day! Which includes welcoming new citizens and celebrating all the different parts of our culture. The PM said he's disappointed by the push to change it and that Australia Day will stay as it is while he's in charge. So what do you think? I reckon it would be a good idea to move up to a day that the Aboriginals actually like a bit better maybe or like a day that's happier for them. I think it's a good choice because then it can be a day rather than being celebrated about when, when people first arrived and colonised Australia, it can be a day about celebrating everyone having equal rights and being, being given the same opportunities. For years it's been an Australian tradition to have Australia Day on this day and I think if we move it then it might lose a bit of its um, charm that it's had. We need to um, all come together and unite in unity and be happy with Australia and not just part of Australia. 